uh, outer space, aliens, other dimensions, and I'm into shamanism, uh -huh. the spirit world. So I have a lot of different things that I like to do on the side. And during the day, I'm an office worker for a law firm, which oh, is wow. very stressful, very stressful. And I'm trying to pull out of that and get into more of the metaphysical type of work. So that's my background. And I work with crystals, uh, crystal bowls, Reiki. Wow. So anything. I've been to Egypt last uh, year. And wow. I've, I've been in, in the Great Pyramid. So it was amazing. <laughs> wow. Well, there is something under the pyramids, everybody says. Yeah. And it, it's going to be uncovered soon. Um, to help you, you said... Um, you're trying to get away from the law work into the light work, <laughs> law work into light work. <laughs> and for me, it was a big breakthrough. I also went from mainstream to light working. And when I, at one of the channelings, they said that corporations is our future. The corporation is a system where people work together. And there is no way around. We can't dissociate into individual humans or small, tiny. We still have to be able to work in huge amount and huge communes or corporations. And that was for me that 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 channel and made me realize I get I have to go back and join the mainstream. And you cannot fix the mainstream. All right, Faye, I think it's you making the noise. Oh, uh, let me mute you. You're not speaking any at all. Hmm. I don't know how to do that. All right, I'm not muting you, but you're making noise. Uh, so, uh, Pamela, uh, so uh, going back to mainstream and healing from inside, I think makes perfect sense. I, I, I would urge you to stay there in the law firm and uh, and be a healer where you need it most. I mean, you're in the key place where negative things are happening. So that's where you, the healers are needed. Thank you. Uh -huh. I will. <laughs> Anybody wants to share? Any questions for the aliens or... Adele, you wanted to say something. I'll, I'll quickly share because I have to go. Um, it's really nice meeting everybody. I'm really excited about this. And uh, for me, I'm I, I'm an artist. However, my uh, the universe conspired to have me do something different. And I was in a, a horrific car accident. Of I see. And and as a result of that. It's brought me to this very, very uh, deep place within. I mean, like you, Pamela, I've always uh, been involved in the shamanic arts and healing, and um, so where my journey's taken me is I'm I'm working full time as a light worker now. And I, I've been in almost daily contact with ETs here in Vancouver. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> Which ones? Well, I I think well you know you know one of one of my guides is Andromedan, but, uh -huh. Andromedan. but the, the ones here in Vancouver, they seem to be Palladian. Uh -huh. um, but they've, they've been really instrumental in my healing process, as well as downloading me with um, phenomenal um, light codes, etc. So it's it's been a very private but uh, amazing experience for me. So, you know, I, there's no doubt in my mind that, uh, you know, we have a lot of assistance available. So I'm, I'm really excited about what this is going to uh, produce, <laughs> Max, this, this whole project. So, Glad to yeah. serve. Let me read what was there. Is my phone face camera working, Justin? No, it's not. Justin, you, uh, we can see only your photograph. And Lini, we can see only your photograph, not camera. And that's, that's all. Anybody want, uh, Lini, uh, uh, Caroline, are you there? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> sorry, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just on my phone. I'm just using my phone for this at the moment. Okay. My laptop. I okay. had to reboot my laptop, so. Um, okay. Just trying to get it up and running, really. Uh-huh. Um, just very slow. Uh, we can hear just fine. Can you hear us fine? Yes, yeah, really. Sounds really good. Well. Yeah. Um, I guess I, uh, that's a good point for sharing. Uh, so uh, Jim is channeling many, many, many entities, and somehow aliens come through very easily, and human spirits come with big trouble. Uh, he doesn't feel well when they come through him. They don't feel well, and the message is is. Uh, I would say very kind of thin. It goes very thin. They, they can only say a few words. But you know, I just hear in your accent. Uh, 
I, I, uh, I'm very admire, uh, a big admirer of John Lennon, and I, all, all, and I read a few of his uh, channelings from, actually not channelings, reports of talking to him uh, from, 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 uh, from the spirit world, and, uh, mm -hmm. and I, was, I kept inviting him, and once he came through, so I actually spoke to him. Wow. I guess I attracted mm -hmm. him because uh, he understood that what I'm doing was important, and uh, I warned him I don't have anything specific to say to him, and you know, uh, you know, he introduced himself. I didn't know who is coming through, so he introduced himself. Uh, uh, my, my wife is still on earth, that's what he said. And then we discussed a mm -hmm. few things, and uh, you know, I asked him uh, if he's still composing music, and I already read that he's composing music, so that was kind of a redundant question, but he said, so he said yes, that's what he's doing, and I uh, said, in which languages, and he said, whichever, whichever, basically, you know, he can make it on any language, and, and if uh, the music up there is better, and, uh, and he said, it's, you know, can't even compare, it's way better up there. Um, so he is very active, and uh, there were a few other exchanges, but, uh, and he said he miss, he's missing the earth, he, he missed the earth, he, he, uh, Maybe that was one of the reasons he came through. He wanted to be in a human body. He was in a human body for a few minutes. But again, he didn't feel well. And, he, and you know, half through conversation, his accent went through. And it was, it was him speaking. And initially, it was Jim speaking his word. But then it was, was John speaking his word. That was incredible. I was very uh, touched. Oh, you're typing something. How can I cheat? change my name max can you give jim's <coughs> full name yes charles jim charles jim charles okay. uh you can uh, the, the easiest way is to find him is to go to my website personal okay. max steinberg and under under videos you can see him speaking your youtube website no my personal max steinberg.com max steinberg okay. i can type it here max steinberg.com thank you so there is a couple of channels of him uh, oh, posted great. on my YouTube, and uh, you can get to that. I mean, Jim Charles is so generic, you can't really find him on the internet because it's uh, yeah. too, too many of those would be there. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else we should discuss? Faye, I read your proposal. Do you want to say anything? You can type in something. What time is now in, in your place? Faye is from Malaysia. So it's right. plus maybe 12 hours. Uh, now. So two in the, in the, in the, two in the morning, right? Two thirty in the morning, something. Wow. Uh, he cannot speak because his family is sleeping. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I, I I was thinking how, how I can accommodate you to like I I could you move uh, one hour early next time, but but you know uh, most of my. Uh, People, what most of us are located in the United States and Californians, I don't know if they are wishing, willing to join the webinar at seven in the morning. So, so I don't know. Twelve minus four. Anybody is from West Coast? I'm from West Coast. What time is is there now? Nine twenty. Nine twenty. So yeah, eight twenty would be a little bit tougher for you. Maybe not for you, but for for some of Californians, West Coasts, West Coasters. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, I paused. Okay. So, 12-hour 12, 12 difference. Do you want to say anything about extraterrestrial experiences? Can you read him? If you click on that button, I'll show you the button. You can see what's, what's he's typing. That's... Uh, can I change my name? <laughs> that button. You see that? Th that shows you the typing. All right. Uh, how old are you, Faye? Oh, not that young. All right. Uh, Justin, do you want to share anything about your extraterrestrial experiences? Justin is also typing. I don't think she, he's there. Um, I had a question to Pam and Adele. Um, 
uh, how you share something about your um, shamanism. Uh, I, I have been to one of the Indian ceremonies and it was a drum circle with uh, uh, thanks to how many? One, two, three, four, five, six to seven directions uh, where the seventh is spiritual. Do you want to share something? Me? Pam and uh, Adele, I don't know, either one of you. You're both and I have to go. I would love to share, but I have to go. Okay. I've got somebody arriving. All right. Uh, next time, if you, you want yourself more. to be more Let's visible, uh, try to set up the light so it faces a little bit more, your face is a little more lit. Okay. Because you look like a ghost, a little bit bluish. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, you <laughs> can also go it's to the... dark and rainy here today. That's probably why. Uh, camera settings, and you can uh, make yourself more natural color but you know it doesn't really matter okay all right but, bye everybody bye. bye thank you nice bye. nice nice for joining see, see Matt, you tomorrow I've been, I've been to seminars where um where the shaman there actually honored every direction so that east they started i think with the east went south west and north and they yeah. have different meanings but I don't recall exactly what the meanings are. It's like a long proverb <laughs> for uh -huh. each one. I just know inside myself to honor every direction. And then, yes. of course, the heaven and then the planet Earth. So they try to do that to open the ceremony, to open the circle for the positive energies. And another thing I like to share is about myself is that I don't feel like I'm a human being. I feel like from I've never felt at home on this planet. I don't own a home. I move around a lot. I rent a lot of apartments. And no matter where I'm at, you know, that's my temporary home. I feel like from either Pleiadians or another star system in this body, that I'm stuck in this body. So I feel like I'm in prison. <laughs> and I'm trying to get out. <laughs> um. which, which is an odd feeling a lot of times. So I don't know how to work around that one. Uh. Yes, we all have past lives in other star systems. It's everybody. Uh, the Earth experience is quite new, so everybody have been have, have been somewhere before, and we will be somewhere in the future. So we're linked to extraterrestrial lives in the past and in the future. Uh, but you are a human, that's for sure. If you speak <laughs> to us, you're and you look human in many ways. So. Uh, you know, it looks like um, all of us, we had to go through some sort of uh, uh, application and competition just to get the, the right to be on Earth at that time. There was a lot of uh, spirits who wanted to be here. And to, to be here and re reasonably successful in this life, it means that uh, nobody can come here and be this, as comfortable in this life now without the past lives in, on earth so if if you are successful in this life if you survive to this age it means you had at least 10 or 20 or 30 past lives on earth so you're not you're certainly from from elsewhere and you certainly had had experiences here as well it's it's just given because if the person i i know a few people who are first time here and they're all autists they can't really function fully they are desperate uh, it's really hard to be the first time. If you're an alien and your first time on Earth, especially the greys, Pleiadians are more fit. They they they're more fit here, but the greys are. They they are really miserable here. It's so different and uh, it's so lonely for all of them. For the extraterrestrials to be here for the first incarnation, they're so lonely. Uh, you can't even imagine. They're kind of um, autistic just because they feel lonely. They can't really connect. And the the people who already have done incarnations here they um they are much well fit so so all of us are if we can speak here we, we have been here before and mm -hmm. genetically so there is a, a spiritual we are talking about spiritual and genetically uh mm -hmm. we are hybrids from the past we are hybrid species so everybody has pleiadian gray reptilian or okay. anunnaki uh orion and a couple more Syrian. Sirius? I don't know. Yes, I heard Sirius. Yes, uh, certainly Sirius, especially uh, yes. the Africans have Syrians. Yes, and yes. Th the next one is what? 
Dracos? Draconians? I don't think Draconians are... Are, are, uh, are they grays? The reptilians? Uh, Draconians are dra dragons. They have uh, they are reptiles with wings. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, I, uh, Lakesh, my another contact, uh, which we are talking, Lakesh provided most of the information. He says there is no dra draconians uh, physical mm -hmm. at this time. They kind of went uh, to non-physical at the moment. Wow. So in the past they have been, in at least in our timeline realities, they have been somewhere present, but uh, they're not there. Currently there is no dra dra draconian race in physical. You know, they're still spiritually involved, but not physically. So, so yes, we have that ancient, and apparently Pleiadians kept uh, coming and mingling with, with humans. So, mm -hmm. so there are more recent, uh, last century, six centuries ago, there are more recent infusions of Pleiadians, and some of the humans have higher percentage of Pleiadian, which, you know, just taller and uh, some other features. Uh, so, yeah, that's a nice question, you know. I, I, uh, that's what I always ask, and uh, I get confirmation answers. I didn't know I'm Pleiadian, so I, I kind of, I was thinking, that because when I dream, I, I dream about greys gliding, or actually gliding like a grey, so they can mm -hmm. float, and I was thinking I had grey DNA, but uh, apparently <laughs> they said I have no grey, and I have a bit of uh, ple a recent Pleiadian. Again, it's not from my father, it's from, from down the line, like in uh, 18th century Pleiadian infusion. Oh. So that's very interesting. So uh, for asking them about that, every time I ask, you know, first question I ask, I apply to go up there. Second question I ask, uh, do I have children up there? Third question I ask is, uh, what is my ancient and recent infusions of alien DNA? I think that these are main questions to ask, which questions I, I, I like to hear from them. And, and the more I ask, the more I investigate that, the more uh, interested it becomes. Great. Thank you. Anybody wants to share? Oh, here is, I feel different. Okay, Fiyun wrote, I feel very different with US people. You guys are just very able to talk compared to Asians. I'm an Asian, I'm from uh, just borderline in Russia between Asian and uh, Europe, so I write in between. My one leg is Asian. I had a story about healing one my, of my friend, been abducted by greys and reptilians, yes. She told me I was able to heal them the friend or reptilians, I guess the friend, and end of her suffering with, from them. She eventually became friends with them. Perfect. Uh, that's the way to go. Yep. Uh, Justin said, uh, I want to state that I'm getting a new computer in the middle of next month, so I will be able to do more things on the computer, such as video editing. Good. Uh, Justin, video editing now is easiest to do within YouTube. You first upload to YouTube and they have perfect editor which can do everything. So it's easy, easy now. You don't need any sophisticated software. You can truncate, you can adjust colors, you can uh, overlay sound. So it's, um, you don't need much more. So Fiyun says, okay. Um, so about grays and reptilians. Uh, so my main breakthrough was, which I found only two days ago, it's not record because it was a conversation. I, I, I couldn't record it. Uh, I, it wasn't appropriate to record it. So, uh, my, uh, so my question was whether the, the Gurkfit Nier, whether they are involved or were involved in hybridization program. And apparently they, they, they were. That's what they did until they started the project with the colonies. They were doing the hybridization program which was started by the Greys, but then uh, Gurkfit Nier joined and took over part of that. And they say the Greys did about 8% of that project, a hu recent human hybridization project with the Greys and others. 12% uh, was done by Gurkfit Nier and the remaining 80% or the remaining big chunk was done by some species which lives under Pacific, I forgot which ocean, I think they said Pacific Ocean. Uh, Pacific Ocean, and they couldn't tell, could, weren't allowed to share which species were that. And I think I asked if they were Agarthans, and they said, and they, I don't think they, they answered that, but they, I said, is a species humanoid? And they said, no. So there is some species living under 
ocean and not humanoid. But you know, their definition of humanoid is different, meaning not close to us. So anybody who looks like human but not close to us for them is not humanoid. So it could be like antoids or some other humanoid looking creatures which which they don't call humanoid. But but that was very new to me. So I was assuming most of this was done by Grace and when I, I know one abductee who is sharing a lot of information and she says she has she is an older lady and he was she was through the habitation program for many years, like 40 or 50 years. When she was a young person, actually I have an interview on, on YouTube of her. When she was a young person, um, she agreed to volunteer for that habitation program. And uh, she always, she comes to the ship, she is allowed to retain her memories and she sees hum mostly humanoids there. And sometimes she's taken to places like bases where human military mingled with other military and reptilians and uh, and reptilians so i assume that humanoids are doing the hibernation program but now the the recent news that most chunk of that was done by non-humanoid species so i'm very uh, interested to find out more uh and speaking about their uh fay about the hybridization program yes they uh, they started quite negatively because they couldn't relate to us emotionally, but as this developed, they are became much more enlightened, and our gods spoke to their gods and angels and uh, consciousnesses, and convinced them to become much more advanced in the way they do that. So, right now, they say the combination program is is only continues only uh, for supporting uh, past abductees just to keep them alive and keep them uh, healthy. They don't do hybridization per se. They already grabbed enough of uh, human DNA to do hybridization and uh, they don't bother human humans to, to get more abductees. They already have enough hybrids which already work on themselves improving their own genetics. And a good hybrid who good, we know about we're speaking to Bashar who is a Sasani another hybrid race and Yael is another hybrid race both are result of hybridization program and both are thankful to us and try to help us because uh, we are their ancestors and uh, our abductees donated their DNA to their creation of their races and each of them has their own planet which uh, Bashar's planet is called E Sasani, e Sasani is located in the direction of Sirius, but is not uh, in our uh, timeline, not, not in our reality. Uh, so we don't know their star. And Yael doesn't disclose their planet. They don't tell where it is. But, you know, I assume it might not be in our dimension at all. Uh, they're, they're four dimensional, but not even in our star. They, may, they might have different stars. I don't know. It's a good question to just to find, but they say they will tell me later, but they never told me. Uh, any 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 questions? What about the hollow earth, the beings in the hollow earth? I'm sure there are openings north and south pole. How come they will not allow us to explore it? I'm just switching the topic. Yes, uh, Bashar says, uh, my, my main authority is Bashar, says uh, it's not in our dimension. It's not physical. If you go okay. physically there, it's not there. It's okay. uh, you have to be in other reality to to get there. And uh, uh, so yes, they exist. They yes, they come up, but they are not in uh, our three D physical. They are elsewhere. Elsewhere, in another planet. It's another version of Earth. Uh, Yes, yes. Uh, there are multiple. The Earth is multidimensional. There is a lot of life elsewhere in lower vibration and high vibrations. This Admiral Bird, I think, went there in forty something, and I read, a, you know, you read up yes, about yes. it online. It's really interesting. I'm like, uh, that'd be another adventure on Earth. <laughs> uh, to get to understand how is it? How is it connected? So, was he in physical? How was he transferred? He probably was invited. Maybe they used technology to let him through. I don't know. Who knows? He had the plane and disappeared in the in the. But then somehow, 
the uh, beings allowed him to leave after giving him the information and then nobody believed him. Uh-huh. You know, the so usual. maybe they just helped him to go through the dimensional things. It was I, I, I would just from Bashar says it would be transdimensional thing. Yeah, sounds interesting. Everything very. I love this. This is great. What about Barbara Marciniak? What do you think of? Her I like stuff? her. I yeah. read uh, at least one of her books, uh, Bringers of the Dawn. I think Pleiadian yeah. Channelings. Bringers of the Dawn. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, these are Pleiadians and are uh, very recognizable. They have their own style of speaking, all own uh, philosophy, own style of delivering information. They spoke about dimensions there, I remember. I, uh, yes, I read a lot about that, yes. I, I read a lot of channelings and this was one of the books I uh, marked a lot and may, had many bookmarks and then used it in my <laughs> books. That's cute. What about um, the dreams that seem so realistic? What are those? Are they actual contact or what? Uh, can you describe those? No, just the one I wrote about on, on the website, you know, the, your recent website with a human colony. So something like that, is that, was that actually real? It felt so real. I was remember that? that and I remember you, but I have trouble connecting you both. So can you remind me what, what was there? Um, where. It seemed like I was hiking in a, like Arizona mountains, and then I see this like a huge ship that looked like spoke wheels. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then, and then, and then I was trying to hide from it. I don't know if it was maybe fear or, or excitement or just it. You know, I was like surprised. Uh -huh. and, and I was underneath this archway, and then I feel the ship just hovering like right over it, and then sending me these energies uh -huh. it was really wild energies it uh -huh. felt so real uh -huh. you know, and it felt good actually and i was like then becoming conscious of it trying to analyze it and i woke up and i was so upset because i wanted uh -huh. to see what was going to happen so that was really strange was that somebody trying to make contact maybe or? um who knows but uh <laughs> here's my guess my educated guess i think um they responded to your application and one of the tests you get is how well do you feel about the aliens? And they give you something very prototypical. They either give you an image of an alien or a ship and see how you react to that. This was actually right before I got to your website and got oh, to before you applied. Command. Right before it was like, and then it connected me to Ashtar Command. I found your our article and then boom, I was like connected. So it was really strange then it couldn't be, uh, then I don't know. Um, it, so it's not a reaction to your application, unless it is a reaction to your application backwards. How, how, <laughs> what was the time? What was the time difference between that and that? Um, it was like within a week, oh. a week and a half. It was I don't really think they're allowed to go that far in time backwards. They can do a couple days. If, they, if it's uh, justified, they can uh, go two days backwards or two days forward, they they from another reality and they allowed to play a little bit outside of that. And the higher is the rank of the extraterrestrial, the bigger is the range they can allow, they allow to uh, to do time manipulation. Oh, okay. So, I but yeah, the weekend and a half is a little too big, but you know, maybe there were some guides who, or something Obviously, this kind of coincided. Is it a ch by chance or, or or not? I don't know. Uh, but uh, again, you know, they wanted to contact you, and uh, they felt that uh, you are capable, but you also are afraid. So they gave you sort of that experience of of being non-threatening, and maybe they guided you to the website. I don't know. It's That's a possibility. Funny. But I'm not afraid like now and you know, my conscious wake, but subconscious is something different. I don't understand it, you know. Yes. <laughs> a lot of work is happening up there, uh, you know, outside of our physical mind. Okay. Um, there is another you which is subconscious and uh, they do their work and they get, they feed on your experiences and process it and... Uh, thank you. So subconsciously you already accepted it. Very good. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm going to say goodbye. It was great meeting everyone. I'll see you tomorrow at noon, right? Yes. Good. Uh, okay. yeah.